Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. Well, I'm gonna do a review of a Nerd Gears version 3 30 amp 240 volt metered PDU. Look at that, it's got a D-Rock meter inside the PDU. I think that's really cool. Take a look, it's got eight C13, C14 plugs here and also two C19, C20 plugs, which I believe these are locking capable, which is really cool. We're gonna try that out in this video. I'm gonna turn this on. So thank you to nerdgears.com for sending me this to review for you guys. Also, we're gonna be doing a giveaway of one of these PDUs, okay? So very simple, you just gotta comment down below your thoughts on this PDU, and if you are in USA or Canada, I'm gonna choose the winner after 24 hours, and Nerd Gears will ship you this brand new 30 amp, 240 volt PDU, which is on their website right now. Link down below if you guys are interested for $125 right now on sale. So check it out, link down below if you guys are interested. All right, so first things first, I wanna, I wanna plug this in, okay? I mean, this wouldn't be a review if we didn't plug in the PDU. I've had a lot of different PDUs in my past now, and I'm gonna have to say that this one here, I'd say has been quite refined in a way. I talked to Nerd Gears, and they said this PDU, they have gone through many revisions, and they have done a lot of testing, and to make sure it is like their, you know, final version three revision, and so it's neat that they have the D-Rock meter here to show the power consumption. They have the surge protector here, okay, as well as the 30 amp uh, big boy breaker here, which is really cool, 240 volt capable uh, PDU. So just showing you guys the, uh, the voltage here. It says uh, 100 to 250 volt. Uh, most likely most people are plugging this in for, you know, 220, 240 volt. Okay, so this will go up to 7,200 watts, right, on a 240 volt, 30 amp circuit. But in terms of uh, safety, 80% rule, you probably wanna go up to, you know, 5,720 watts. So uh, that would be the 80% rule. Okay, 5,720 watts. But anyways, let's plug this in, okay? This is the plug on this side that plugs into a uh, L630R. Or receptacle plug. Okay, so I'm gonna take out mine over here and we're gonna plug this one in here and let's see this thing turn on. Nope, looks like I'm gonna have to flick the breaker switch on here. Okay, so you can see there's a switch here. I'm gonna flick this and we're on. Look at that. There's a light on the surge protector here. That's really cool. And then as well as there is the uh, D-Rock meter here. So you can see my voltage, 220 volt. Okay, I don't have anything plugged in obviously, but we're gonna definitely plug something in. Okay, so just looking at the plugs now, all right, I like that there's these, these locking parts here for the C13, C14 cable. So you know what? I wanna try plugging in a cable, okay, and is that, oh yeah, okay, so that's nice and in. Okay, now I can, yeah, it looks like I can lock it now. Okay, and it does look like, yeah, it does look like it, it actually, it, it keeps it in there, right? So now you don't accidentally, see look, I, I can't even pull it out because it's, it's hard stuck in here. Yeah, so these are locking Plugs, that is really cool. That is the first time I've seen a PDU that has something like this. And so if I take it out now, yeah, I can take it out because I pulled it, I pulled it out. So that's really cool. It was a little bit tight, the first plug in, you gotta really push it in, and then you can lock it just like that. Okay, now now it doesn't come out. Okay, I can take it out now, like this, and take it out. That's really cool. Okay, so now I want to try this this cable here, uh, this end, which is gonna, this is a C19 to C20 cable, all right? This is typical for like big boy ASIC miners. So it's it's neat that they have two of these plugs here. So in theory, you know, these, these ports can handle, I think up to 45 or 4,800 watts. So if you had like, let's say two 3,200 watt like ASIC miners, uh, you could saturate this PDU fully and then you wouldn't be using these ones. But if you had, you know, GPU mining rigs 
you could fill these up pretty quick, but just depends, you know, what types of setups you're using. Like if you're using Octa miners, you know, a lot of those Octa miners have, you know, multiple power cables, but then some of them have the adapters that go into one, you know, C14 or, you know, even a C20. So it helps in that regard. But anyways, let me plug this guy in now. I'm just curious about how this one locks. Okay, so I'm gonna go, looks like there's a button here which it does say push here to insert or push to remove. Okay, so I'll we'll plug this in here. Okay, there we go. All right, and I'm curious, is it locked now? Yep, it's definitely locked. I cannot pull it out. So in order for me to pull out this cable, I need to press this button here. There's a little, there's a little red button right here. I'm gonna push it. And now it comes out. Yes, that is really good. I actually have a few PDUs that doesn't have that, right? And so like I've had certain times where my PDU or the cable just conks out. It just comes out if I was like moving a cable or something. And uh, it's nice to have, you know, a locking mechanism in the C20N. So that's, that's really cool. So once I put it in, it's in there, it's locked. It's not, it's not coming out. That's a really good feature, Nerd Gears. I do love that. That's really nice. I like that. It's actually uh, really good for uh, safety as well, right? So that you're not like, you know, going to short circuit your hardware, you know, just accidentally trip over uh, an ASIC and a cable comes out out of the PDU. That, that just sucks. Anyways, let me get a big boy ASIC here and I want to plug it in. Okay, uh, a lot of my big boy ASICs are tied up right now. I don't want to take those out, but I have a uh, Gold Shell LT Lite. Okay, so I'm going to plug the Ethernet in on this. Okay, and then I'm going to plug in uh, the end. This requires a C19, C20 cable. So this one's going to go into the LT light. And this end I'm going to plug directly into the big boy port, like so. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to turn this on now. Okay, so the biggest benefit here on this PDU, not only they have the locking, but I like to see that there's the D-Rock meter here that reads the power consumption. So we're at 6.3 watt draw on this uh, SC light. This is a Sia coin, gold shell miner. And I just wanna see this thing, you know, start drawing some power. Okay, after about just a couple minutes, it started to ramp up. Okay, it's mining Sia coin now. I'm drawing about 918 watts. Yes. Okay, so there you go. That's that's the power of having a uh, meter, power meter inside the PDU. You can actually see how much power you are drawing off, you know, all your equipment, which is ultimately the best feature of this PDU because a lot of people who buy PDUs they really don't know how much they're drawing unless they, you know, had a meter box or a power, uh, external power meter. This has the D-Rock meter inside the PDU, which gives it a lot of value. So I truly do like this PDU. Just to give you guys a little walk around, it does have some bracket here if you wanted to like wall mount it, okay? And on the other side, there's also another place here that you could screw it into. Uh, just like into a table or into the wall or something like that and yeah so i really like this this is a really neat pdu nerd gears i think you did really well on this really nice version 3 30 amp 240 volt metered pdu so yeah let me know your guys's thoughts and yeah comment down below your thoughts on this pdu as well as if you're in usa or canada and we're going to be giving one of these away uh, nerd gears will ship one to the winner i'll choose the winner 24 hours after this video is uploaded. So congrats to the person who wins this. Again, I'll choose the winner after 24 hours. I'll pin your comment and you'll just have to email me your shipping address. So I'll be testing this PDU personally in my barn. I'm gonna have all my GPU mining rigs, uh, not all of them, but half of them hooked up to the PDU here. Uh, looks like I'll probably have to buy another one. So I'll have two. Uh, Nerd Gears PDUs in the barn and I will test this out long term, but so far so good nice build quality here It is thicker as well. I just realized it is much thicker than the normal PDUs that are out there, but great stuff Okay, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one Peace out. Peace out